Hi guys, Frasn here. Welcome back to another episode of Clash Royale. So, this is going to be a different type of episode here, because we are going to open this legendary chest that you can see down there. But first we are going to be opening two free chests and a silver chest, and we are going to be unlocking this one. And after we've done that legendary chest, we are going to make a deck. I think this is going to be a live deck making video with that specific legendary. So let's just start opening the free chests and see if we can actually get something good. Maybe we can get an epic or something or maybe just a little rare. Okay fine with me. So as we all might know I have the lumberjack level 2. I do have the graveyard before we actually go further into the uh, into the chest opening. Uh, I have the princess, I have the lumberjack and there's like seven of these cards that I don't have, like six legendaries and the executioner. And that's because I'm not in arena now. Oh, I am. Okay. But I haven't gotten the executioner just yet. I mean, there was a little 400 gems deal in the shop, but who uh, even needs that? So why do I need to keep scrolling down? Battle Ram is released in nine days, don't matter. So if I would do want anything, it's going to be the miner. Because I've been playing with the miner in specific challenges a lot, you know, it, Electro, Electro is a challenge. Uh, what else did I have? Like, I, I haven't gotten it myself yet, but in every challenge that was like online, what I, what I did was I just put the miner into uh, my deck. <laughs> but I mean, the, the draft challenge, the Electro is a challenge, every time the miner, I could get the miner, I basically put it in my deck. So, let's see what we are going to be getting. I sincerely hope it's not a double legendary because I really don't need double legendaries right now. So, fingers crossed that it's... I'm going to call it right here, it's going to be the miner. And if it's not, then I hope it's something else that I don't have just yet. Lava Hound? Not really, but... Uh, so I'm going to click it now. Come on. Okay, that isn't all too bad. I mean, it could be worse. It could be worse, but the Inferno Dragon isn't, isn't really my type of legendary. It's not really the legendary that I like to see against me or with me, actually. But we're going to be making a deck. Okay, so here it is. It's costing 4 Alex and it does 30 to 350 damage, depending on how long it's unlocked onto or whatever it's locked onto. So this is a good giant slayer. It's, it's basically a flying inferno. So this is part, usually part of a Lava Loon deck, Lava Hound deck, and... I'm just going to be making a different type of deck with with it. So what deck do I actually want? So yeah, this was just a regular deck that I made for beating Aaron. So we had we do have the Inferno Dragon. So what are we going? What are the counters of the Inferno Dragon? Usually it's Minion Horde Skeleton Army. So Zap Princess. We already have that in this deck right now. And it's already costing 3.8 elixir. So I think that I want to keep the Sparky and the Mini Nord because it already has enough air defense then. I think I'm going to switch out the Valk and the Skeleton Army is for defense, otherwise I'm just going to be straight offensive. I didn't even see a little... I think I'm going to switch out the Valkyrie for a Giant or something. So Inferno Dragon... Yeah, I, th I think we gotta have every weakness of him covered. So let's put the Giant in here. Where's the Giant? There you are, level 6 giant. It's uh, definitely one of the more expensive decks, but that's about it. So yeah, the, currently the clan chest is uh, doing his thing anyway. If you want to join my clan, it's out of time. And if you just want to join, let me know in the comments down below and I'll get you a spot because we are currently full. So yeah, there's a lot of friends already in the guild. We have uh, Anus, Edgar and all the other guys that you can see right here. It's basically a little friends guild. But I am, I used to be the leader, I gave it to Ethan because I wasn't able to be leader of a, of a clan just yet and now I'm back, so. So yeah, let's do this, Arena 9. Let's see how uh, we are going to be doing this. Uh, excuse me if I decide to DM or something. Uh, sometimes it's just very necessary, so I don't know why this bitch started with... A, that's... wow. He didn't even get all of the skellies. Okay, I'll, I'll take that, I'll take that. But the Sparky isn't in here right now, but I do have the Tornado coming in, but the Tornado doesn't really matter. I mean, you can use it for Miners and Golems to actually counter your 
or to get to your area like the big tower with the king on it, the king tower. But it's not really necessary, so I'm going to be figuring out what he's going to put. I honestly do not know, so he's going to put a fireball. Fine with me. And there we go. Zap on all of those Kellys. Those fire spirits. Wow. So that's going to be a lot of damage on that tower, just because that giant is tanking for those two little minions. Just look at how many damage those two minions do on their own. And that tower is going to be down right here. He puts the elite barbarians down, but they're crap. So I don't have anything against this guy. So, unfortunately, we can see that this thing is going down right here. Let's just push for the tree crown and see if we can actually snag the win here. So I'm not sure on what he's going to put down. He does not have the Inferno Dragon yet. I'm going to be needing to actually, like, use the Inferno Dragon. I think he's going to fireball my princess if it's really necessary. I mean, the princess was kind of a waste of Alexei, but that's on me, not on you guys. So those archers have been down for nothing. Let's just go for their right tower right now. So giant incoming. Oh shit, I need to, I need to, crap, crap, crap. There we go, there we go, there we go. <sighs> Un unlucky that one fire spirit actually did get something in. So those minions will actually get one hit in. And there's what I actually wasn't hoping for. So let's just put a Sparky down right now. Because I already know what he's going to do. And we're going to, let's see what he's going to zap. So he's going to zap that. He, you can't do anything else except zap one thing you know <laughs> so that's lucky for me so let's put the giant in front let's get this guy down let's put the inferno dragon down let's put everything that he's going to put down there let's go let's go let's go unfortunately that skeleton army is a pain in the fucking ass and for some reason he's still in here as well so zap on that blah 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 and now we can just fireball all of this. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, how am I going to be doing this? I think I'm just going to put a giant right here. Yes, all the barbarians counter or countering me. And that's just hard, actually. He doesn't even have a minion or it. So, Inferno Dragon, he's going to tank for everything. And there we go. Let's see. Those are down, I just saw what he was going to do. Okay, you can do that whatever you want. So, I don't know why I zapped that. Was a little bit of an unfortunate mistake for or on my end. So, those fire spirits are getting some damage in. I did get some damage on his tower as well, by the way. Don't know why he actually decided to do... So, here it comes. You can clearly... He's just going to push for the tree crown straight away. You can go ahead and do that. You can go ahead and look at everything coming in right now. What are you going to do against all this? Tell me, please. Just tell me. He's only one zap away. Okay, let's do this. He's one zap away. Let's scroll back to our zap. I need that zap right now, otherwise he's going to kill me. I need that zap. Oh, damn! <laughs> wow! Good luck, uh, good game, thumbs up. Wow. That, that, wow. I didn't even pay attention to, to the time. I didn't even do anything on that. I, I was just focusing on the game so well. And he was fireballing me. And if I had zapped, I think well, I would have won. Or it would, maybe it would even be a draw. But wow, that was, oh. So we can do another one, I guess. We can ju just do another one. Let's just go. Mohammed. I think uh, last time I checked it was Mohammed, but that's okay. So my draw isn't really the best option right here, so I'm just going to put the Inferno Dragon down, see what he actually has. Pretty much Elite Barbarians, because everybody's still using that one. And luckily for me, I, I am seeing the, the Barbarian hut a lot lately, I don't know why. But we can do this. I don't know why the mini note actually went back, but that doesn't matter for me. We can just put it down here, and he has a lot of airsport now I think about it. He has a lot of airsport. Oh no, well, yeah, he does. So unfortunately, that Valkyrie is going to go down by just by a little bit. And now I'm getting pushed on hard, so zap all of that shit. Why did the archer survive that? Shouldn't be doing that. I'm low on energy. 
and he has a level 8 rare, wow. You know what, you, I'm facing a lot of level 8 rares, and level 10, level 10, level 9, all those shits I'm just dealing with for right now. So, he doesn't have any arrows, I haven't seen him actually getting any arrows, so he has a, oh fuck, he has a spawner deck. Okay, when I, I could have just sworn that it wasn't a spawner deck, but... So I haven't done anything proper, properly to him yet, and look at how many damage I already got onto my tower. So he's pretty much going to put the Alibaba back, of course. Of course, that you can just put your watch down there, because we all already know that it's going to be one of these decks. So a little thumbs up right here. And the Goblin Hut is going down. Maybe soon? I'm not sure. So... Skelly Army? Okay. I mean, sure. So, what is he going to put on against this one exactly? I don't know, I don't even know why the minion horde is even going over there. Like, the barbarian hut is on the right side of the tower. Why are they going to the... What? I don't understand this at all. Like, why are they going to the right side if the tower is closer? So he's going, he's just going to draw my giant. Doesn't really matter for me. The, the Inferno Dragon does have a little, a little advantage over here. And luckily for me, I can zap all of that shit. And that Valkyrie's going down. I haven't done anything to this guy yet. Just look at the damage. I mean, what am I doing? He's just, I'm just focusing on one tower and... You know, these type of spawner decks, I just don't have the, the words for it, you know, it's just that type of dirty deck that people, I don't know, I just don't have the words for it right now. So guys, can we get a like for the Inferno Dragon? Just get, leave a like for this Inferno focused fire beam helmet wearing dragon. I don't know, I'm just looking at the description and I'm just saying random words for, for, from it. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode here. Leave a like if you did and I hope to see you all again next time.